Hello everyone and welcome to my March TBRs. This TBR is going to be very different from my other TBRs because I am focusing on one genre alone throughout this whole month. I'm sure you can already see the title. This month I am tackling and diving into the world of adult fantasy. I have never really gotten into the genre before. I would say total I've maybe read two or three adult fantasy books but I thought this year is going to be the year I do it. Last year I read a lot of books I didn't think I would read, like historicals, a lot of thrillers, things like that. This year I want to tackle on adult fantasy. For this, there's a lot of reasons. Number one, I'm not loving YA fantasy as much as I did. I don't know if I'm growing out of the genre or if I'm just getting too picky. I don't know. So I thought adult fantasy would be good. Another reason is, is I'm an adult, so let's try some adult fantasy. And yeah, I think those are some of my only reasons. I just want to try the genre out and just see how I feel about it. I thought I would dedicate a whole month to it. And these books I bought, I bought because because you guys keep recommending them to me. Every time I talk about adult fantasy, I get a slew of comments about you should read this one, you start with this one. And I picked five of them. Um, I bought five of them that were reasonably priced. There were some ones that I really wanted to buy, but I couldn't because they were too pricey. Also because my library didn't have a lot of them because my library is not the best. So, but hopefully more of them will come in. I do have some on hold right now, so maybe I'll read more than this. I'm also only picking, how many do I have here? Five, because adult fantasy is also known to be some big books, and I was like, five sounds decent. Maybe I'll accomplish that and read more. Maybe I won't even get to all five of these. So yeah, these five I hear a ton about on book two, and I don't know much about them, and I'm okay with that. I don't want to know much about them because I feel like if I know too much about them, I'll set my expectations up really, really high, and I don't want to do that. So forgive me if you came here for really detailed um, synopsis on these. I don't have them. So these five adult fantasy books I'm going to read this month. The first one I hear about the most, and that is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Mistborn is very popular in booktube. A lot of people that read adult fantasy love Mistborn. They also say it's a great starting place. So that is the first book I am planning to read. All I know about this is I, I don't know. I think it's like a hero um, rise and then he failed and now like the world lives in darkness and then I think a young hero comes into the mix. I don't know much about it. I do know that it is 650 pages so that'll be interesting which doesn't sound that bad but who knows but this is gonna be the first one i tackle and this is a trilogy a lot of people have also recommended to me warbreaker by brandon sanderson because it is a standalone but it was a lot more expensive on amazon and then i've just heard so much more about mistborn i do plan to read warbreaker do not worry i just wanted to tackle mistborn quite for i wanted to tackle my side my library has the second two books so i can get them from the library so that's the first book i'm gonna tackle really nervous about it because everybody and their mother loves Miss Bourne, and I really hope I do too. The second one, or the rest are not in order, they're just what I have. Um, the second one is not, I don't know if I would put it as fantasy, maybe fantasy horror, but I just have heard about it a lot, and it just sounds really appealing to me, and that is Into the Drowning Deep by Myra Grant, also known as Shauna McGuire, I believe. I think, if this is her pen name, I'm not 100% sure, but this one basically is so seven years ago the ship went off to film like this mockumentary about these ancient sea creatures and i think they never returned so everyone's just wondering about it now a new crew is assembled and they decide to go off where this ship has gone before i think this is like about killer sirens like mermaids and it sounds amazing uh, it's classified as horror so this is really stepping out of my comfort zone adult fantasy is my out of my comfort zone adult horrors like out of my hemisphere so like this is going to be a lot for me to tackle because I'm not into the horror genre at all but I've just heard so many amazing things about this book and how it's beautifully told and how it's just very gripping and very harrowing so very interested to read this one also very scared the next one also I don't know if it is a fantasy novel or not I do know it's a standalone and that is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman I thought I had to put a Neil Gaiman book on this TBR because everybody loves Neil Gaiman a lot of people have read him a lot of people rave about him and I think like I know he's written American Gods I don't know if I want to read that 100% I know he's written The Ocean at the End of the Lane I don't think that's very fantasy based this one is kind of fantasy based I think um yeah selected as one of NPR's top 100 science fiction and fantasy books of all time I I guess I did okay <laughs> about a guy who stops to have a bleeding girl and then he slips into a world that never existed he slips through the cracks of reality into the lands of neverwhere a London shadows 
of darkness, monsters, saints, murderers, and angels that exist entirely in a subterranean labyrinth. Sounds really interesting. Heard amazing things about it. Yeah, I've never read Neil Gaiman book. I'm gonna do it this month. Just really going all out there. Another one that has been recommended to me a ton, and that is *The Name of the Wind* by Path of Rothfuss. Everyone talks about this book. I, they, I'd say I hear about this one and Mistborn the most on BookTube, especially in my comments. People always say, Mistborn and Name of the Wind. Here I am. I have it. I did already tab it a little bit because I was supposed to read this with Murphy um, on her channel. And I was a really bad person and did not actually get to it around the time she got to it. So I'm so sorry, Murphy. If you're watching, you're probably not. <laughs> she really, really loved it. And we were supposed to buddy read together and I let her down. And I'm sorry. One thing I've heard about this book a lot is that it is very slow. Like I said, I got a ton of comments recommending it, but I also got a ton of comments saying, maybe don't start with this one because it's very slow and off-putting to the rest of the genre. So I don't know what to think about this. I do not know if this is a standalone, if it's a series, if there's a sequel that's yet to come out. I don't know. I don't. Well, this is one I have 100% no, I don't have anything about this book. And I'm okay with that. I'm gonna see how it is. It's very long too. Yeah, it's around 650 pages like Ms. Bourne. We'll see. And the last book I am really excited about, I, I don't know why this book, just the synopsis sounds so intriguing to me. And that is The Savior's Champion by Jenna Morico. I heard about this also on Murphy's channel. I really think that she was the one that got me thinking about adult fantasy because she put a whole bunch of videos of dipping, like of starting out with adult fantasy. And I was like, maybe I should. And she talked about this book and the way she described it, I had to buy it immediately. This is basically told like we have this world, we have a savior and the savior came and she saved the world. And this follows, I think she's like at the age where she has to be married pretty much. Um, and I think it's all about all about competing for her hand to be married for to be the the husband of the savior I'm pretty sure yes um, he's fighting with 19 other men and each of them's fighting and killing for the same chance to rule at the savior's side so that is very interesting to me the whole savior trope I love so much for some reason and the fact of that it's a woman I love that even more a couple of other books that I really wanted to buy or get from the library that I couldn't afford and the library didn't have. City of Brass, I've heard amazing things about. Um, maybe my library get a copy. Like I said, Warbreaker. Um, I think there was some other ones too. But either way, these are going to be the five that I start out with this month. I am deeply, deeply nervous because I'm just nervous that I won't enjoy all of them. I'm nervous that I won't get into the genre. Who knows? Maybe I'll fall in love with the genre and just read adult fantasy from here on out. I don't know. Oh, we're just gonna have to see this month of how it is. I might do some reading vlogs throughout the month of just letting you know how I'm feeling about each one of these books. But yeah, I know for sure I'm gonna start with Miss Sporn and I think I'm gonna go into the Saber Champion next. Um, I will try to review all of these <laughs> videos as well. Um, we'll see how that goes, but this month's gonna be a very different month for my TBR, tackling a genre as a whole. Like, I've never done a video where I've only read one genre in a month, much less read a whole different genre that I've really never read from. So it's gonna be a very interesting but exciting month. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty excited for this. I'm equal parts nervous, but I'm also very excited. So yeah, come along with me if you have never read any adult fantasy and you're thinking, maybe I will. Join me this month and we can all read it together. How fun would that be if we all just dived into adult fantasy together? I would love that. So let me know if you want to join in. I'm excited and I'm rambling. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.